Amerawater's high purity water system for central sterile services is easy to install, simple to operate, and easy to maintain. Once you've unpacked the units, set them up as shown here, with the reverse osmosis unit on the left, the deionizer in the center, and the storage tank on the right. To allow easy maintenance, be sure there's at least one foot of clearance on either side of each unit and three feet of clearance along the front. Before you begin the installation, it's best to examine your tools and installation supplies. The system includes an incoming tap water hose to the RO system, the product water hose for the RO system, the reject hose for the RO system, the test strips for checking chlorine and hardness levels on the RO system, the wrench to remove the sumps on the pre-filters on the RO system, a hose used to bypass the entire system if necessary. An outlet hose for the storage tank. Hilti anchor bolts for the seismic anchoring of the storage tank. The transformer for the resistivity meter on the deionizer. And the resin packs for the deionizer. Now that you're acquainted with your installation supplies, the installation process can begin. Starting with the RO unit, open the back door to prepare the RO for installation. Remove the PAA container and foam packing. Verify the anti-scalant jug is full. Detach both filter sumps using the special wrench provided and verify the filter cartridges are in place. Once you've confirmed the filter cartridges are in place, reattach the sumps and close the door. The RO is now ready to be connected to the other units, water source, drain, and power supply. Remove the top plates from each column by twisting off the wing nuts. Use a screwdriver in this special slot to release the O-ring seal inside the column. Open the drain valves to vent the columns and eliminate air pockets as the resin packs are installed. Open the resin pack box and untie the plastic bag. Elongate the resin pack in the plastic bag. Pour the resin pack into the column. Reinstall the top plates and close the drain valves. The Celex deionizer is now ready to be connected. After the storage tank is secured to the floor using the seismic bolts provided, the unit is ready to be connected. Complete installation instructions for the entire system are included in the manual inside the door of the RO unit. Attaching the hoses is simple. Each hose is labeled with names that match those on the front of the unit. The temporary fittings are removed by pushing in on the fitting, holding the ring in, and pulling the fitting out. Each hose attaches simply, without any tools. Once attached, the hoses are wrapped around the right side of the unit so the RO can be turned around easily for service. The female garden hose fitting of the incoming tap water hose attaches to the male fitting of the water supply. The drain hose is also wrapped around the right side and connected to an appropriate drain. The product water hose is connected to the inlet on the Celex deionizer. The outlet from the deionizer is connected to the storage tank. Verify that the ball valves at the bottom of the storage tank are closed. You are now ready to connect the storage pump outlet to your plumbing. The electrical wiring is plugged into any 110 volt single phase 20 amp dedicated circuit. The transformer for the monitor on the deionizer is plugged into the monitor and connected to a 110 volt single phase circuit. The same circuit can be used for the RO or the storage tank. The pump for the storage tank should be connected to another 110 volt single phase 20 amp dedicated circuit. The wiring from the water level monitoring sensors at the back of the storage tank connects to the side of the RO. Orient the connection key facing the outside of the plug. Fit the connection snugly and lock it in place. 
Your Amera Water High Purity Water System for Central Sterile Services is now ready to begin operation. To learn more about the startup of the system, watch part 3 of this video series from Amerawater.